Hello, folks. Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for taking the time to check out today's tips and tricks video. Well, where to begin, folks? I just got back from the Florida Mega Mini, and let me tell you, we had a fantastic time. It was great meeting up with everybody, and a lot of little things have happened since the latest releases of X Lights have come out. And today, I want to share with you more about the VU meter and the new applications that we have that have been added in thanks to the awesome developers in X Lights. But before we get started, I want to remind you folks that PPD has an awesome sequence club where you can sign up for one sequence each month. This is March 2019, and there really is a very, very cool sequence. So go check it out. It's pricing is very reasonable, and you can get a great sequence each month just by signing up. More information in the uh, video description below. Check out pixelprodisplays.com. There's a ton more uh, benefits to joining the club. So have a look and see if you like the brand new sequence we just put out. With that in mind, folks, I want to get started with the, spe uh, the, the brand new additions to the uh, Spectrogram that are available thanks to the developers. Uh, you all are probably familiar with the default setting of X lights and having the waveform and being able to change the waveform with the bars. You have gain on some of these. Uh, you have you have gain on some of these uh, that you can change around and do do some manipulating. You can uh, vertical offsets and so forth. There's a lot of functionality within the um, within X lights uh, in the VU meter. So. To go through some of this, and I'm going to try to do this a little bit more organized than maybe what I normally would do, uh, but I want to go through the three new additions within the past five releases that really are going to add a new interesting level to your sequencing that you can bring to into your into your own uh, display and so forth. So with that, we're going to get started with the brand new Spectrogram line. What we have here is we have a spectrogram line, a snapshot of the individual frame. If we zoom in, this is an individual frame here. This is one frame that uh, is being uh, that is being uh, captured at this moment. This is the exact frame that's being played right on the uh, matrix that's being displayed. So, what we do is we play through the whole thing. It's bouncing between every one of these frames and displaying each one of those. Now we have some options here. We can go We can go and set the bars here to uh, less bars, a little less and a little bit more. So it becomes a little bit more interesting. Um, I think this tree only has 32. So the most that you can really get out of it is 32. Uh, anything more than that doesn't really matter. But if you go below 32, you get a little different uh, movement there. So keep that in mind. Uh, that's that can be uh, quite helpful for you if you're if you're doing some neat and interesting sequencing that you're trying to achieve. Um, then obviously I have this going on on all of the matrix and the mega tree, so you can see that at the uh, at the uh, standard at six at 20, 20 bars, what it will look like uh, in some different areas. But yes, those functionalities, the spectrogram line is a really interesting option that's been added. Now moving along, we also see that we have an additional box here that has been added thanks to the developers. We have an, a logarithmic x-axis. Now, the best way that I can explain this, uh, because I can't get technical with it, is that it makes the higher end, it, it, usually the waveform picks up the high end very easily, and the low end is not as interesting as the high end because there's a lot less movement on the low end. What happens, though, is whenever we check this logarithmic x box, uh, is the, the left-hand side usually is your low end. Uh, it makes it a little bit more interesting. And that's the goal of Logarithmic X, is to make it a little bit more interesting than it was before. So it has one look here, but, it, but change the Logarithmic X axis, and you get something that's just a little bit more interesting. So between the two, this is what one might expect. And I think this is pretty cool. Don't forget that you can go in and you can change the number of bars to match a little bit more of what you have going on. Remember that you can always right click, copy and paste, and you can create a layered effect. You can change the color here 
and now you can come down to your layer setting box and you can flip it or uh, flip it horizontally and you get something that once again is just a little bit more different and interesting or you can have it without logarithmic X uh, and just go with no flip so now you, you, you get some interesting ways that you can apply this line, spectrogram line, uh, with the VU meter effect. So the, the, that's the first one that was added. The second one that was added, um, well, actually, these were both added in the same uh, rollout. We have spectrogram line and then also the ability to use the spectrogram line with a logarithmic X axis activated. So you can see the red one here is exactly the same thing. All we've done is uh, uh, with the line, the spectrogram line, we've created a circle. So this is a spectrogram circle line. Uh, so basically, in one, we've, we've connected the end and the beginning of the wave and made it into a circle. Now, what makes this interesting here is, and we're on the smaller tree. This is a 16 by 50 tree. So if you have a small definition tree, you still get some of this cool functionality. 20 is too big for this tree, but if you go to 16, you can see a little bit more. And you have a little bit more um, options here as well. You can make it a little bit smaller. Uh, a little bit bigger and so forth. So even on the smaller end, it still has functionality. Now, one of the nice things is is that um, uh, that you have uh, also the ability to change the start notes and the end notes. You can you can slide up here and move it up to the high end and go more for a lot more movement. Uh, you can go to the bars here and you can change your bars, the number obviously. And then also we have a sensitivity. Now the sensitivity, if I remember correctly, works on the grounds of 10. So if you're if you're from 10 to 20 or 10, uh, 0 to 10, you're at one sensitivity. If you're at uh, 10 to 20, in the teens, you're at a second at the second set. There's 10 levels. Even though there's a hundred, there's no difference between 99 and uh, or there's no difference between 91 and 99 or 100, but there is between 80s and the 90s. So think of it in that respect. Um, or if there is, there's really, really little difference. But that's how I believe that this was set up here. Now, as far as the gain goes, this this allows you to get a little bit louder. This pull this picks up the gain of the sensitivity that you set it at. And uh, there's just a lot more functions here. Now, remember that you can always make it more interesting with the logarithmic X and give it something totally different that you're not expecting. And the final thing, now we're all familiar with waveform. We've done the waveform before. This is the default setting for the VU meter. And uh, quite honestly, I was looking for something a little bit more specific. And now I know Keith put a little bit of effort, actually put a lot of effort in and came up with the frame waveform. So basically what's going on is we, we have a, a picture of just one frame here. And, and it's it's capturing this frame and then it's taking this frame and then animating it with the next frame. So it's capturing every single frame and then displaying them as it's being played. It's a live frame update. And in this specific sequence uh, or this specific MP3, this is the uh, Sedweller uh, Imperial March. This is a really, really loud uh, uh, waveform. So there's a lot of noise in here, and you can get really creative. If we go, if we go and look at the uh, the Garage Matrix panel, which is uh, a larger, a much larger matrix, you have room to really play with this a lot. You can get much wider. It's I think it's 50 wide or 48 wide. So you can get a lot of information in there. Now I want you to notice the logarithmic X is not available in this setting. It's not necessary because you're capturing the entire waveform up here. There's already a lot of action going on with this. And remember, you can always do a uh, insert layer below and add an effect in between there if you want and rotate it and so forth, add a second layer and offset it slightly and you get something a little bit more cool. Um, but as far as this goes, you still have the same functionalities. Now, your sensitivity isn't there. You don't have a functionality called sensitivity, but you do have the gain, so you can make it louder. You can t turn the gain down a little bit more. And also, uh, you have your vertical offset. So if you wanted to layer a certain way and you just wanted those peaks at the top, you could take the same effect. This would be something interesting we could do here. Let's, let's uh, copy this, paste this. And we, we can transform this using the uh, buffer here. We can uh, uh, rotate it horizontally. Oh, wait. 
rotate it 180. That's that's what we want to do. And we can change the color so it becomes a little bit more interesting. So it looks a little offset, and it's not something that maybe it's not something you could do with the spectrogram um, that that's available, the spectrogram or the peaks. But uh, it's definitely something that you guys can begin to play with and is very new to X Lights as of the beginning of 20, well, March 2019. So, folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like the video if you liked it. Share it with everybody if you loved it. Remember, hit the big red subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit notifications so that you're notified whenever a video is posted. We've been getting really busy. There's a lot coming ahead for Pixel Pro displays and we're going to, we're going to be at the, um, at the uh, uh, Trans World event in uh, St. Louis the, at, at the middle of this month, uh, the 19th, 20th, 21st, and 22nd, I believe it's that weekend. And uh, we've got a lot going on, so if we, I post a video and I forget to post it in the X-Lights group, make sure that you're, uh, you're uh, getting the notification on your mobile devices or in YouTube that uh, we did send something out so that you can check it out because there's times that I might not be able to post it in the group. So thank you so much for watching. This is Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Check us out on the web. Thank you so much. We'll see you in the next video. Down through the chimney with those and me. Sam, and every time it rains, it rains. And hold